Hello, YouTube, and welcome back. Bank 60s with you once more in this new favorite game, U-Boat, from the great folks at Playway. Man, I really have been enjoying myself playing this game with my new adventure started up now. It's U-559, the bucking Germans and Hitler's lost sub. So I've read into U-559 a little bit more, and it has a very interesting history. I would just encourage you to look it up. It was a very important, particular U-boat, not just for um, this game, being that you can play as uh, crew members on this boat. It was also a really important piece of history, and it relates to the Allied ability to decode German messages. I'll let you look up the rest, but I'm playing as the crew on a historically significant U-boat, and that excites me, I have to tell you. Bank 60 is here with you once again, another installment. This time, a new story. We're done with U-552 and the Devil's Dancers. We're on to U-559, them bucking Germans and Hitler's lost sub. Will we get lost and sink to the bottom and give the Allies the chance to access the Enigma machine? Is that the way that this story goes in the game? Whew, I don't know. For now, we are making our way home after a successful spying mission and um, disruption mission at the Port of Alexandria. We are playing in the Mediterranean, something I've not seen a lot of yet on YouTube. It is unique, I think. I'm going to enjoy this. We're on our way back. This is where we're picking the action up right here. However, we've just really been able to sneak out of here by the hair of our chinny chin chin. A couple of destroyers, or at least a Corvette and a destroyer perhaps, were hunting us down uh, here near the port. We were in trouble. It was tight. The last episode, I strongly encourage you go check it out. It's worth all, I think it's about 45 minutes. Um, it gets tense. And now I'm kind of making my escape. I've now seen some funnel smoke. It looks like we've got uh, some enemy ships on the horizon. Let's see what sort of... Uh, there we go. 7.2 kilometers. Let's... Call it in. We can't yet because we don't have anybody on the radio. Yeah, will it? We don't need him on the ears anymore anyway. We'll send that in. Batteries are recharging. Air compressor. We're going to go ahead and turn on the diesel compressor as well as the electric one. And we're on our way out. We're on our way out now. Off we go. Okay. We need to... I think... For now, I want to stay surfaced. What is this? Do we know? Nope. We do not. We've got it locked, though. And so we should go ahead. Let's get our XO on it. Oh, that's not a warship. That's a trade ship. Well, howdy there. I suppose I don't see why I can't uh, make a run at this fella. Hello. Uh, 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 hello. Hello there. Torpedo ausrichten. Yes. Let's get a solution on this feller. First of all, let's work on a speed. By the way, it's silly that he's on the periscope. I'm just telling you. I'm going to go ahead and send him to bed for now. He's in bed like he should be. We're going to head this direction. And then we're going to start by getting a speed on this guy. Uh, I don't know how well you're able to see there, YouTube land. 
I got to get the speed on this dude like this, though. Just bear with me. Here we go. Ooh, he's going pretty quick. Excuse me. Ah, I don't know. Maybe, well, what's that? Maybe 11 knots? Or rather, 11 kilometers an hour? We'll see here. We'll see. We know that's a tanker, too. This will give us some cash. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on. For some reason, it didn't set it. All right. Got to do it again. Not sure why. Not sure why here. But uh, we'll hit it again. No problem. He's uh, coming across my bow, so I'm now facing him. Going toward him. Going slow. Going slow. There's another um, propeller noise that was further off to the north and west that we may have to worry about. But for now, we're going to see if we can't just take this guy out just before he gets into port. Boom. Okay. We have a problem. We have a bug going here. Something is up. Unless we are just unable to do this on the surface. I'm going to try one more time. Um, may have an issue here. My guys are already working on it, so there is that. He still can't see me, the enemy uh, freighter. So that's good. We're able to kind of sort through this without alarming the enemy ship. It seems as though we're just not going to be able to get a speed here, potentially. Or if this mechanic has changed in the game, someone can feel free to tell me. Okay, it's not setting it. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, well, I don't know what to do about that, except um, just rely on our guys, really. I think we just have to rely on our guys to come up with a solution for this one anyway. Maybe a restart is required here to get this working right. I know this thing for sure right here. I want to go ahead and take it to Periscope, Dev. Copy, team. We're going to get these guys on the proper scopes. You. Uh, you. We don't need to worry about. Who needs a break soon? We're going to warm those oh our radio man we're gonna have to coffee you up sorry uh, Alexander Garrick you got we need you we need you I like having him on the end there. like that there we go and we're down. Now, I wonder if we will be able to get a speed doing this uh, with the periscope up. Let's go ahead and speed her up a bit here. All right, we got her in our sights here. Boom, pal. <laughs> and our captain decides to go to bed. Bang 60s, you got to get up, buddy. Skip, get on up there. Get on up there, bud. Come on. 
You're not done. All right. Let's get him up there. Join in. And I guess, like I said, we'll just let our guys handle this. We're going to slow down a bit. Ooh, maybe not that slow. We got him. We should have this guy dead to rights. It's a tanker. Probably going to have some secondary explosions. Let's do it. Fire. Not as noisy with the torpedo firing. That's interesting. Here is our torpedo. Let's go watch the action here. So it looks like uh, that thing's going to leave a trail that could be seen, but it's nighttime. I don't know. I think we may have a hit here. I think we may have a hit. Good job, man. Good work. On a tanker. Coming out of Alexandria, even. Kablammy. Come on. Boom! Yes, sir. Center of the ship. How'd we do? Ooh, not too much damage there. She's taking on some water. Let's load up another one. Let's load up another one. Let's hit her with, uh, at three meters, go. We have a detection somewhere. Ah. Radio message incoming. We'll get that in a minute. I bet you it's another freighter that we'll be able to find. Let's get on this torp, watch it head in. Hopefully it hits. They're on alert now, but they are wounded. They are wounded bad. Just maybe. Yeah, we got this. They may try to turn away. No secondary explosions you'll notice on this tanker on this one, but we'll have them this time, I think. And uh, he should go down. Ooh, a little lower in the water. Bam, bam. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, man. That is satisfying, I must say. Oh, boom. Man, those tankers are fun to sink. Let me tell you. Ooh, just a little uh, parting gift for the Brits. No more fuel for you. Right outside of port, too. That's huge, man. Way to go, boys. Way to go. Let's get... Uh... Now, my officers just went away. Now, wow. Okay. We've got some bugs working here today. We've got some bugs working here today. Interesting. All right. Let's save it. It's good to get that sinking, at least. There's my officers. All right. Yeah, they're back. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess now we know how to handle that bug. Da -da -da. There you have that, devs. Oh, crap. No, go back to him. We need to get him some more coffee. Right here, like this. He needs to send that message and then I'd like to if I can decode another one um, but I think it's too late there was another uh, merchant ship nearby I think yeah no Copy right. ten. Uh, okay 
down that ship goes several lifeboats. Um, I think what we'll do is just uh, leave the scene of the crime. Uh, and we'll go bye bye fast. I'm good with him reloading. He's on the uh, engines very well. And I think we could probably. I think we could probably go ahead and just surface the boat here. And no, I always accidentally click that. All right, off we go. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Off we go. Okay, and we need to get these guys off of their uh, mandated, per my orders, tasks, and let them get back to the work that uh, the schedule says that they should be doing. And then hopefully we don't run into any aircraft on the way home. And we'll be good. We're going to turn on the pump, clear out the bill just a bit. We'll keep the red lights on for now. We are still being hunted. Interesting. Oh, somebody from the port probably saw that. Maybe chasing after me as we speak. Well, we're going to run. Oh, snap. Wait, pause. What is this? That may be another freighter. Torpedo ausrichten. No. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's an Empire Explorer right there. Maybe this was a big convoy that got broken up or something. Can't tell if he has any guns. I could just go after him with the deck gun. Pretty, Still pretty close to the enemy base. I wonder. Still recharge and air quality's good. Discipline's good. These guys, this dude needs a rest. How do the torps look? Are we preheated? We need to uh, slow the boat. No, we are not preheated and we're not even really fully loaded. That's uh, something we'll probably need to remedy. You, sir. Um, Stammer, is it your time to work? Uh, it is not, is it? We're going to make him work all day. I mean, that's kind of the go-to. I'll just be arbitrary about it. <laughs> Yeah, All right, let's go ahead. He can load tube two. That's fine. Let's face the boat this way. Let's do a little reverse action. And let's have him. Let's put. Let's put the boat down, first of all. Uh, let's get our two officers back on the scopes. Fellas, skippity do, back to the scopes. Them bucking Germans, man. They will get you. They will get you. We're gonna go ahead and let him sleep. We don't. I don't think we really need him. We know where this ship's at. Right here. Let's go ahead and put a dot on him. Just. Go ahead and mark him so we don't forget where he's at. And there we are, pointed the right way there. 
Very good. Very good. They're doing good. He's doing good. He's doing fine. Capitan. He's warming. And we have ourselves. Let's go stop. And we're just going to wait for him to come across our bow. And we're just going to load him up. We're going to pump a couple of torpedoes or one or two. I don't know. Maybe two. That three meter depth looked pretty good. All right, we're going to go back slowly. And then stop. This ship here, it was an enemy. Now it's not. It's uh, just gray. That's interesting. I wonder why it's doing that. There we go. Now we see it as an enemy target. All right, I feel confident that these guys have a good enough solution. We don't quite know what it's size and draft or anything it, you know it's similar to an empire explorer let's go ahead and hit it Derek, we're getting a couple of bonus kills out here with this really this is what this is a couple of bonus kills Whew. once again in the night I, now you can't see it as well but you can see it look at that that's a T1 right there for you. Oh, we need to get somebody on the... Uh, let's leave our torp for just a second. Let's get in the boat. Let's get somebody on that navigation station. You do it. I don't care if it... Sacrifices sight. We've already got a torpedo away. I think we got a hit. Think we got a hit coming. Looking good. Oh no! Oh man, my guys missed. My guys missed, guys. What the heck? That is disappointing. Capitan. All right, so I've got my radio operator back. Let's get him. Well, first, let's get off the torpedo. Let's get him back on the ears. I, 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 Come I, I, you I, 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 here. We kept him on the navigator's table because we're navigations are I, low. I, I, That's fine. Maybe we'd be okay getting him some coffee. And then, oh no, I hope we don't have to go all the way from freaking zero again. That would suck. <laughs> I don't think, if it stays up there in your view, I don't think that that's what you have to do. But let's see. Holy moly. These yeah, single uh, ships out here. There we go. Yeah, no, we, we can maintain the progress we had. Good, good, good. We need to probably come at the ship a bit. And then we're going to hit her again because uh, we can't just let that shit slide. Pardon my French. Guess the speed right this time, fellas. Unless uh, there may be something working here where even my guys can't get the speed right. It looks like they didn't change it. It was not. It was going faster than 10 on our last shot, fellas. We didn't get that right. Maybe they get it on this one. Um, I think they might have got him this time. Yeah, I think so. 
Night, night. Unless we're too low. That's the only thing stopping us. Here we go. They can see it coming, too. Death from below. Sorry, bro. Your night's over. Have a... Uh, have a nice little nappy time trip Ten down to the bottom. Hook a blue! It's a big hit. It's a big hit. He doesn't have any guns. Fire on deck. Uh, we're going to go ahead and surface the boat. We're going to finish him off with our uh, deck gun, if necessary. That's the plan right here. That's the plan. U559, five, five, the bucking Germans. <laughs> Making mince meat out of a couple of little uh, individual morsels traveling alone out here in the med. It is not that difficult right now. Not that difficult right now. Come on, fella. We got our diesel motor engaged. Good. Let's, uh, let's not be going too fast. Get on here, get on here, get on here. Come on, let's get up, get up, get up. Oh, come on, fellas. There we go. Got it. Get on that deck gun. Get on that deck gun. He's loading. I tell you what. I think we can let him go rest. We can get him on the radio so that he can call this sinking. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if that shot had anything to do with that chip sinking, but, eh. Uh, we got an incoming. All right. Now, I don't like how... I don't like how if you leave that screen. Okay, so I'm good. Okay, now I kind of understand how that works. Okay, I don't know if I like that better or worse than having it up here. Just follow my mouse up here in this corner. I think I might like that method better. But then again, you know, you can become accustomed to anything. So. Let's see how we're doing here. Getting close, getting close. I'll see what he again. Oh, okay. Do we have another target out there? Seems like we do. It seems like we've got another target out there. Like, uh, this is... This is going to be a feast on this return trip, potentially. Where is this radio traffic coming from? Oh. Oh. Nowhere nearby. Must have been the port. Very good. All right. Let's head on out. We've done, uh, we've done enough for today, I would say. Put you to bed. You're in bed. Let's get everybody's schedules back. Uh, Stammer, you work nights, right? No, you work days. Like a so. We got that. We got that. We got everything else. All right. Very good. And so we'll bring her up to full speed. I don't know why we are down at periscope depth. I didn't order us to do that. Um, lo and behold, that's what we decided to do. Um, auto save happening here. I think I'd like to uh, get my air compressors going. I think that was part of why. It might have taken, yeah, look at, we're at 26% right now. That's not the so good. We're having a hard time getting back up on the surface, as you can see. Uh, we have three interactions nearby. We can uh, rescue guys if we want. I'm not interested, frankly. 
Um, I guess I think I understand that you get a little bit of budget if you rescue guys, but um, maybe I'm terrible when I say that the incentive to do that just isn't enough for me to really pay any attention to it. So, too bad for those guys. Uh, you're fighting on the wrong side of the war, guys. Sorry. Uh, that's, you know, I guess what I would say. Who? Oh, detection. Oh, just another. Off we go. Oh, shoot. So, I don't like that. I don't like that. One bit right there. I liked it when it would stop you when you were fast traveling, switching back into dynamic travel, and it would slow you back down. I liked that better. Um, I, I do hope that that comes I back. I, I, I don't know. Maybe this game is being made to cater more to the realistic travel player. That seemed to be what the default setting was um, in the game that I set up here with my U559 campaign. I'll tell you, I like dynamic travel just fine and dandy. Just fine and dandy. Quite well, as a matter of fact. I really do. It's maybe not quite as realistic, but it works just fine for me. Let's go get our regular lights on here. Good, good. And we're going to come back to the engines. This guy can probably just finally head to bed. We'll make him go to bed. And then we should be set to head on back. Once again, not going to take it to 12. Just not going to do that. Just not going to do that. Looks like we might have some weather. Oh, darkness. It's getting dark early here in the Mediterranean. Very early darkness here. All right. This guy's back, awake again. We can bring him out. Let's bring him out. Let's bring all those three dudes out and just make sure that uh, everybody is on the uh, proper schedule. As usual, let's do the same with the uh, skipper. He may go down to bed. Um, usually at night, everybody but this guy is sleeping. So, nope. Skip wants to keep working. He wants to keep working. Fine. Fine, fellas. Fine and dandy with me. All right. So we'll keep on heading back. Do 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 do. On we go. Let's mark the trip. We're trying to go this way, and I think I'll stay toward the Africa coast, kind of like last time. On we go. Captain. Boom boom. There we are. No radar. Oh, that's right. I don't have it in this game. I'm starting over. <laughs> I have to remember that. Okay, we got it. I'll tell you one thing that I'll probably want to do is uh, check my food consumption right here. Let's go check it. Yeah, we're getting down. Uh, oh, we're still doing pretty good. It's really not that bad. Uh, we're not consuming food all that quickly. Nice. All right. Very good. Very good. Hello. Hello. Uh, Berlin? Is this Berlin? I'm, I cannot hear you, Berlin. Oh. Oh, never mind. It was... It was just a whale. A whale that I will name Berlin. 
I'm going to dream about it now. Whale. I love you, Whale. I'll be thinking about you. Your family, too. Perhaps we could put you in a zoo in Berlin. Alexander Gehrig. A lover of wildlife. To Bavir. It was so... It was so... It was so rousing, his thoughts about the whale. It... It... It stirred him out of his slumber. All right. Well, here we go. Back to it. Da -da -da. All right. We're back on the watch. Back into the next day. Here we go. Got that. See, I don't know why um, guys fall off like that. Maybe I should uh, staff them up uh, using those squads. Maybe that's the solution there. Ooh. All right, we're back. We're back. Do. Our guys aren't happy with their uh, the amount of work that they're forced to do. We're going to set another waypoint here. Like that. Get ourselves ready to make the big turn north. Uh, or, well, yeah, that's fine. Uh, are we, is it daytime? No, it's nighttime as we pass by Malta. Very good, very good. And, oh, lest I forget, I do believe that our our two merchant ships sunk will go towards this total right here, um, which will be a nice, nice bonus. Really, really nice. Capitaine. Do, do, do. Got that. Keep our nabs up. Keep our watch up. And we're going to set another waypoint. I'll tell you what, actually, I'm just going to take it back in. Take it back in. Onward home. Like how this um, episode kind of turned out here. This was, this was a very productive mission and a very productive patrol. There is no... Disagreeing or arguing that. If you have any uh, suggestions on the way that uh, you think things should have gone, of course, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Anything that you want to see more of, uh, you know, feel free to let me know what you think of how tight the situation was when we were in the port there in um, Alexandria. That was really fun. And we're back. I do believe as we make our way back in the rain, <clears throat> we may have. Yep, here we go. Back down. Okay, so yeah, when if you're in a shallow area, that is when it dictates that you go back into real time. So there we have that. Keep our watch up just because. We'll do that. Head back in. Oh, it slowed us down. I'm guessing it's because we're coming in close to the port here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and let's throw on some patriotic music, eh? Oh, yeah, buddy. La Spezia, here we come. And then the next thing we have to do is get that flag back out. Oh, yes. We didn't forget. Captain 60's headed over. 
Put her up there, buddy. Good job. I'm back on the watch. U559 headed home. On our way. New contact ships. Okay, so it does slow you down when there is something observable nearby. Where it doesn't slow you down is the transition from dynamic travel mode back into real time. So that is different, definitely. We're back in port. We're going to be ready to get ourselves supplied for the next soiree. U559, them bucking Germans and Hitler's lost sub. We'll be back in the next video. Uh, please hit the like button, comment for feedback. I need all the feedback I can get. Do please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to know when I drop more content. Bank 60's here. I can't wait to see you on the next one. I'm going to save this sucker again as my designated save. Then I'll go ahead and get on out of here. I'll slide on out. See you folks, you kind folks, next time. We're just over saving at this point. We're just super saving. All right. Can't wait. Peace.